I was always like played a bunch of video games when I was younger. My interest in video games when I was younger. I was pretty much <laughs> good in mathematics. But then I realized that programming computer science is uh, really, it gives us a lot of opportunities and it's really interesting. When I moved here from Russia, I played this game called Wolfenstein 3D. It was one of the first uh, 3D shooters a long time ago. <laughs> and, and that got me very interested. Um, when I was growing up, I watched a lot of movies. Um, one of the movies that I watched was Matrix and I saw they portrayed coding as really cool and that pushed me into coding and it worked out <laughs> i took a class in high school and it was like an intro to programming and it was in python and we built the oregon trail game kind of i don't know like the bug kind of just like bit me and i kind of got you know interested in it so i actually started programming when i was about 12 years old and the reason i got into programming was because for me it was something that was challenging um, I was always a kid who was, school was pretty easy, you know, elementary school was just kind of a joke, high school was kind of a joke to me, so I wanted something that was more challenging, so when I eventually found programming, I was like, damn, this is something I don't know, this is something that's difficult for me, and something that I can get better at and learn. So back in high school, I did a non-technical internship, but they kept encouraging me to focus on the technical side of it. They really motivated me to give it a try, and I tried out a CS class, and I really liked it. It's kind of funny. It was really like chance more than anything. I feel like when I was in high school, I thought, you know, computers were cool. I like playing video games. And so I went to college. I was basically like, OK, I have to pick a major. I guess I'll try a programming class. And I tried it, and I kind of stuck with it. So yeah, so the way that I got into it was when I was in middle school, I uh, there was this app going around. Flappy Bird. Me and my friends would just chat about it and we used to play it and we always wondered if we could actually build it. Yeah, I'm actually a data engineer. Well, right now I'm a software developer. I had internship between master's and PhD at Google and now I came back to my PhD. For the past two years I worked at Apple and then I started my own web agency. But right now I'm focusing on um, interview prep as well. I'm currently working as a software developer at a trading company based in Montreal. I'm currently a software engineer at Pinterest. Um, I'm on the core platform API team. So I'm currently a second year computer science major. I'm currently a fourth year computer science major at UC Berkeley, currently taking an electrical engineering course and a networking course. Right now I'm a platform engineer, so basically just like a back-end engineer at a startup in New York City that's based in Tribeca. Uh, so right now I am a student. I go to the University of Maryland College Park and I study computer science and when I'm not doing schoolwork I'm either uh, coding or uh, reading a book or something, yeah. I was actually like a business major while I was working um, in finance and then I like learned about like these coding boot camps which at the time kind of seemed like a scam I didn't really know if they were legit or not um, but like just last year I ended up like quitting my job and like taking a chance to go to one of these and then uh, thankfully it, like all worked out in the end. Well I was referred through a friend he sent me the job posting and I ended up contacting the person in the job posting so uh, firstly I worked uh, for outsourcing for big outsourcing company uh, then I had a graduate program with big bank. German bank. I got master's this summer. It's computer science and uh, uh, software engineering. It's there is a long, long name. Yeah, so I uh, went and finished a computer science degree in college. Uh, however, I got my first job before I graduated. Yeah. So, so it's kind of like a mixture of like computer science program, but self teaching other technologies. Um, I graduated from McGill last year with a bachelor's in computer engineering. Uh, I think I've done four internships so far. One of them, two of them focused entirely on software dev. One of them focused on telecom. The other one focused on DevOps. And I also um, mentored a couple of courses on Udacity, uh, introduction to programming and data structures and algorithms. So I contracted for like three months and then they hired me Full, the team liked me and hired me full-time. I worked as a STEM program coordinator at a summer camp. 
So I actually taught coding to children. I believe it was age like 10 to 15 was kind of the age range there, just basic Python programming. And I've actually just been looking for internships recently and I've applied at a few of the larger tech companies. So just waiting to hear back from them for what I'm doing in the summer. So last year I did a few software engineering internships. One of them was at a company Lyft. I went to college at New York University in New York City uh, and I did a bachelor's of computer science there. So I've done all of like the background, like algorithms, courses, um, like the basic data structure stuff and all that, um, you know, like your systems class. My first year I interned at a startup and then last summer I was interning at Twitter. Realize you don't have to be like a computer science major, like have a degree to do it. Have fun doing it. I would recommend um, online courses like Udemy. That's all, I mean, they have so many different introduction videos to choose from. So my advice is to be active. Yeah, don't worry about the languages. Focus on fundamentals such as data structure and algorithms. Once you know one language very well, you'll pick out other ones easily. And don't worry about frameworks, they come and go. Just, I think, just keep going at it. Don't let anything discourage you. And sometimes it could be hard to get over that slope of that steep learning curve, uh, but just stick with it and you'll be okay. So the first thing to realize is, you know, coding is not for everyone. So don't be discouraged if you try it and you know, you're not into it or you don't like it. But with that being said, also give it a shot. Like you got to code for more than a few weeks before you can really make the decision whether or not this is something you want to do. Focus on the one specific area that you're most interested in, because people go into tech, into computer science for very different reasons. And if you try to do everything at once, it's easy to try to benchmark yourself against other people in so many different areas, but it's very hard to get good at everything and be on top of everything at one time. So it really helps to just focus on one thing at a time. I think a good way to get into programming or coding in general is probably just starting with like a simpler language uh, and just taking things one step at a time. So like I learned Python as my first language and I thought that was really valuable. I mean, like we all know that like in general, people like push people, like everyone can code, everyone wants to do this. And I think anyone get, can, it's just, the thing is it takes a lot of like determination. It takes a certain like way of thinking. And for some people, they can adapt that way of thinking. And for some people, they um, just might not want to. So it really depends on the person. The main thing outside of that was like just the networking. Like after like the boot camp, it's just like I was trying to go to every event that was like available. Yeah, so you, you really have to like hustle. Bill, you need to have a good resume and you need to have like a good portfolio of projects and then you just need to apply everywhere so like my advice would be to spam your resume everywhere companies are really interested they want to hire <laughs> they want to hire you the best way to get a job is not really applying online but trying to make connections and asking them possibly out for a coffee um, or maybe just jumping on a call talking to them about their company their journey and hopefully they would wouldn't mind recommending you uh, because a lot of people apply to a lot of big companies and the probability of your resume going unseen is uh, high. So, but if you give your resume to a real person, it would be a lot easier for you to get your foot through the door rather than actually interviewing. Yeah. For anyone like deciding like how to get to where you want to go, go on LinkedIn, look at someone who's gotten a job that you'd like to have, look at the experience they have, look at the school they went to, do your research, like don't just like be calculated in like what you spend your time doing. Yeah. Just go in, be natural. I mean, these are humans too. Like they were in your situation at one point and just, you know, be yourself and just code and talk like you normally would. And that's how you're going to do the best in the interview. Not trying to kind of come with a scripted answer for everything. Just be natural, relaxed. And it makes a huge difference, I think, um, throughout the process. Yeah. Yep. One thing that I think is really helpful is to actually put in the time to focus on the behavioral part, because I think Everyone kind of approaches interviewing in the same ways, you know, data structures and algorithms and stuff like that. But I feel like it's easy to get carried away in just playing the interview game rather than thinking about like just adding value in terms of like doing interesting work and trying to, you know, convince people that you are suited for specific projects. And I think that remembering that that's really the important thing people are looking for, I think really helps. 
So I'd really just rec recommend like applying to every place that you can, being willing to learn and showing that to the company that you want to be in. So the earlier you start, the more time you give yourself, you know, to fail and to pick yourself up, apply early and apply to many.